Installing the Xeon Platinum Winch and Short Relocation Kit on an ARB Bumper. Xeon winches feature a convertible control pack that can be attached to the winch or remotely mounted, allowing for various winch mounting options and looks. This video will guide you in installing the control box remotely to the top surface of the ARB bumper. We also recommend you read all product literature that came with the relocation kit before installing the product. To begin, you will need the Xeon Platinum Control Box Relocation Kit, worn part number 89970. Familiarize yourself with the relocation kit's components. 31 inch cable assembly, clutch wire harness extension, mounting bracket, 31 inch ground extension, nuts, washers, screws, and butt splice. Remove the control pack from the winch. Remove the top bus bar cover by unscrewing the fastener holding it in place. Remove the three motor terminal nuts that secure the bus bars to the motor. Retain all the hardware for future setup. Remove the four flathead torque screws located on the underside of the tie plate. Note, winch rope will need to be spooled out. Disconnect the ground cable on the underside of the winch. Make sure the small black wire that connects the control pack is disconnected and hanging freely. Gently lift the control pack off of the tie plate and set aside to be further disassembled. Remove the motor terminal bus bar insulator after the control pack has been removed. Installing the relocation kit to the control box. Disassemble the control pack by removing the four flathead torque screws. Gently lift the control pack cover off of the contactor plate assembly. This cover will be reinstalled. Remove terminal nuts and lock washers securing the three bus bars to the contactor. Set aside terminal nuts and lock washers as they will be used later on. Bus bars will not be used for new installation. Loosen the two flathead torque screws securing the contactor to the contactor plate. Only loosen at this time. Do not remove. Using the terminal nuts and lock washers removed in the previous step, connect the labeled cables to corresponding contactor terminal. Refer to the chart in the written instructions. Tighten the two flathead torque screws and nuts used to secure the contactor to the contactor plate. Once the cables have been installed, reinstall the cover using the four screws previously removed. Use the supply butt splice connector and the black extension wire to lengthen the contactor ground wire. Install the winch into the ARB bull bar. Place the four acorn nuts into the feet of the winch. Loosely position the winch and control pack on the bumper, then route the control box cables. Connect the ground cable and ground wire to the winch motor. Attach the wire terminal housing to the motor terminals on the winch using terminal nuts previously removed. Install the cover plate and fasten with the two supplied machine screws. Bolt the winch to the ARB bull bar. Follow instructions to install the Fairlead kit and attach rope to the drum. Bolt the control pack to the ARB bull bar. Connect the clutch wire harness extension. Plug the remote controlled clutch wire harness into the control pack. 
Carefully inspect electrical cable routing. Zip tie and secure electrical cables. Zip ties should be snug, but not cutting into wire insulation. Bolt the bumper and winch assembly to the vehicle, following the manufacturer's instructions. Final installation steps. Attach battery cables, red, positive cable first, black, negative second. Install boots as appropriate to protect connections. With clutch engaged, power in winch rope while making sure the drum is turning in the proper direction. Once you have confirmed winch rope is winding on the drum in the correct direction, continue to power in the rest of the winch rope. Follow instructions to properly stretch your rope. Installation is now complete.